Hi, I'm Matt Minicino, and I'm the author of Homeless Garden. And I'm Graham Miller, and I'm the director, and we wanted to talk a little bit about how we came to this idea for this play. Uh, so I brought to Matt um, some ideas I had around the widely contested but um, very provocative Jonathan Franzen article that came out in The New Yorker in September of last year, uh, What If We Stop Pretending, about the a response to an apocalyptic climate scenario that it was unavoidable. And I started thinking about who has the privilege uh, to uh, delude themselves that possibly climate change isn't happening. And so we got into a heated discussion about that, and Matt thought... <laughs> what I thought was... <laughs> Uh, I had already been talking to a lot of my colleagues and friends about that article, and a, a big takeaway that I had was that uh, the ability to have uh, these fatalistic thoughts about climate change uh, and the idea that we must all start to prepare for the end times is very much based in privilege, often mm. in class privilege. And that those who have been disenfranchised and marginalized, be that because of class, because of wealth, uh, race, religion, or nationality, often do not have the same complex relationship with climate change that, to be frank, wealthy white people do. Right, and that like level of delusion due to class is inherent in the cherry orchard, and there's a lot of humor to be mined from that. We love to laugh at the witch. <laughs> we love to laugh at the witch. <laughs> Oh, it's so funny. meta, the fact that we're making fun of rich people and also laughing. Uh, okay. It's meta that we're laughing. It's, ma it's meta that we're like, yeah, because the rich have the privilege to like, la like to laugh, and to laugh. laugh, and here we are. Here we are laughing.